powerful stuff. A Soldier's Play won the 2020 Tony Award for the best revival of a play. The original won the Pulitzer Prize. And now this celebrated play is making its L.A. premiere at the Amazon Theater. It has one of the biggest stars from Broadway. I am so honored that he is here. <laughs> uh, we are talking about the amazing Norm Lewis. Oh. Uh, all the tells more about the show. Welcome. Thank and you. You have a jam-packed month that we're going <laughs> to get to in yeah. a second. Yeah. But A Soldier's Play, mm -hmm. uh, some powerful questions raised in this. Just tell me a little bit about the plot. Well, it's a murder mystery, for okay. one. And it's, uh, you know, you see someone get murdered in the first, like, minute of the show. And then it's me coming in as a captain uh, to investigate. I'm a lawyer as well, investigating this murder yeah. and interrogating getting these these soldiers and it's trying to find this sort of weave of of taking you through on this journey to figure out who did this and that's the first part then it's the backdrop is it's uh, racism it talks about uh, systemic racism it also talks about uh, self-hatred within a culture and uh, but it's it's very entertaining it's uh, very moving it's funny and in some parts and uh, the audiences love it well, yeah, as, as seen by the awards that yeah. it has won. You play a uh, Captain Richard Davenport, Davenport, as you said, who investigates the killing. Um, but you've also done some other big roles. Phantom of the Opera. Yeah. Uh, you made history on Broadway as the first black man in the lead role. Right, so yeah. just, I mean, you've gone from, there it is, the video of you. I mean, you're singing. I mean, tell me about that role to this role. Well, it's, I've always, when I saw Robert Guillaume, who I, the, I stand on his shoulders, I saw him do it, but here in Los Angeles, and knowing that maybe I could do this role, maybe, because I love the music. And finally, 20 years after that, uh, I got a chance to play that role. And it was, uh, you know, listen, it's done so much for my career. And uh, now I'm getting ready to go and play the sequel to it, not to do a shameless plug. Wow. But Love Never Dies in London. But that's a whole other that's thing. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This play, A Soldier's Play, tell me about some of the other um, cast members and characters. Uh, who else, you know, has that role right next to you? Uh, uh, Eugene Lee, who, Eugene who Lee. actually gets yep. murdered in the show. Um, he was one of the originals back in 1981. And it never made it to Broadway until the you know 2020, mm -hmm. but it was at the Negro Ensemble, and then uh, it got so much praise and so much uh, attention. It won a Pulitzer, like you said. Finally, became a movie in the mid uh, 80s. Uh, Denzel Washington, Howard Rollins, who I you know I'm, I'm trying to honor his presence in this show, and uh, and so it's a great cast. Mm -hmm. So if you you know hopefully you'll come and see our show. Yeah. Right? But there, there is a movie that's uh, it's based on that people might have seen and not. Yeah. Yeah. Real, and now they're going to see it live. Right, right. I mean, with all of you and Norm, just amazing. Okay, so I talked about jam packed schedule. Right. If they can't make it to the Amazon Theater, which we <laughs> hope everyone does, but you're going to be at the Catalina Club and then yeah. the Hollywood Bowl. Yeah, June 12th, I'll be at the Catalina Club doing a little. I figured why not come and sing and do what I Hang do out in LA. a lot out here in LA. June 12th, Monday night at 8 30. And then July 30th, I'll be at the Hollywood Bowl with Patty Lapone, Brian Stokes Mitchell, Skyler Aston uh, to honor uh, Stephen Sondheim. So, it is a jam-packed thing, but I'm loving doing what I do right now yeah. with a soldier's play. Uh, I love. Oh, even yeah. the gear. Yeah, yeah I, I love had to it. wear that. Uh, Kenny Leon, our director, is fantastic. We've had uh, such a great time working with him. A national tour. A national tour. Uh, the Roundabout Theater Company, who mm -hmm. actually put this on and has made this happen. I just want to give a shout yeah. out to them and thank them for doing this. And well, you've had this long, successful career. Mm -hmm. What What has been one of your favorite oh, parts God. about it? I well, mean, it's just you know, live. There's nothing like live theater. Uh -huh. Like I love television and film. Uh, yeah. For its its own sake. Yeah, but, you were a host at one point. Yeah, on I was a TV host show. on a, a TV show in, in New York for a slight second, but I don't do. I'm not as good as you, but <laughs> uh, but it was uh, it was really uh, it, it's just fun being mm -hmm. here. Uh, being on stage here and also the reactions that the, yeah. the California audiences are giving us. It's been fantastic. What a great message and yeah. a great performance, I'm sure, by yourself. So yeah. we're looking forward to it. Thank yeah. you, Norm, Thank so much you. for being here. Thank you for having me. I want to hear you sing. That's <laughs> next time, okay? Yes, yes. Okay. Come June 12th. Okay, okay the there we go. <laughs> All right, and of course, you can find out more information about A Soldier's Play, which again is now showing at the Amazon Theater and Norm Lewis by going to kcalnews.com. Click there it is, the big icon. You can click on the scene on TV and find it all there.